but we are so glad to have Anna Gonzalez on the show. She's here to talk to us. Jason, why don't you go ahead and take it away? Hey, now we we know that uh, you were at the you were at the Kansas Spring game. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, first first impressions. How did Dane look on Saturday in in that spring game? You know, I thought he looked great. He looked really fit. Um, you know, really ready to get out on the football field again and you know play in front of a crowd. And I mean, I thought he looked really revved up and I mean just really good overall. So. And now, how you know how would you compare what Kansas is doing offensively right now to what Coach Weiss did while he was at Notre Dame? Is it kind of the you know the same pro set that he was running at Notre Dame, or is it a little bit different based on the personnel? Um, you know, I think it looks really similar to what Weiss was doing offensively at Notre Dame. Um, I mean, as we all know, uh, Weiss is an offensive coach. I mean, he was offensive coordinator with the Chiefs and. Um, I think that's how he mostly runs his teams is with a strong offense. And, I mean, it was clear um, up in KU that he was doing that again. Exactly. I, I, we figured he was going to keep that same that, that same, uh, mm-hmm. same style. You know, of course, you know, being being what he is and, and that style he's used to it. So, yeah, it's, I kind of figured yeah. that's what we'd see. Didn't know if there was something different there. Um, now, looking at, at Kansas, their schedule, what do you think are the realistic expectations of Dane Christ and Kansas for this upcoming season? Um, well, I mean, I'm personally I'm hoping they do pretty well this year, but, I mean, they've got a tough schedule. Um, you know, talking to some of the um, students up at KU, and, you know, they know that, you know, they're playing some really difficult teams this year, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, Kansas State, all three of those in a row. Um, that, those are going to be a tough three weeks for sure. Um, I mean, I think they'll look better this year than they did in previous years, but I don't know if it's going to be a big enough improvement to give them, you know, even a winning record. But, I mean, we can hope for the best. Yeah, one thing I had on my mind was, you know, how did Dane look? I mean, I know you said he was revved right up, looked ready to go, but do you think he looked more comfortable under Coach Weiss knowing that system, having grown up in that system, than he did <laughs> say, his last year. I mean, we didn't see much of him last uh, last season, obviously, for whatever reason. But do you think he looked more comfortable in that in that pro-style offense than what he did when he was still at Notre Dame under Brian Kelly? Yeah, I definitely do. I mean, I think Weiss is the coach that he knew and was kind of the one who brought him up in college football. And I think he, did, he definitely looked more comfortable um, out there again with Weiss. Excellent. Um, now, let's go back to Notre Dame. You know, obviously we've got a well, – after the news today, we don't know what we've got, but we know that as of yesterday we had a four-horse quarterback race at Notre Dame. Mm-hmm. You know, looking at that, what are your thoughts on, on this current quarterback battle as it stands? I mean, Brian Kelly was going to have Tommy Reese as the starter, just a seniority kind of thing. And um, – but, I mean, generally speaking, after watching the Blue-Gold game, I think Everett Golson looked really good. Um, you know, we I mean, we didn't get to see any of him last season, so we really – I didn't know what to expect from him, but he really um, stepped up to the plate, and I think he looked great. So I think he's got a really good shot at being um, one of the starters. Yeah, definitely. I, I think you're right on that. He, he really did look good, and I, and I agree with you. I think I, initially before the Blue-Gold game, my thought was that – Everett would or uh, Tommy would would be the starter, and we would see how everything played out. And after the blue goal game, I was there as well, and, and I liked it a lot from what I saw from goal. I liked what I saw from Andrew and and Tommy. You know, is Tommy, and and but he's got the you're right, he's got the seniority. Um, so you would say at this point, if you had to rank in order of who you think is going to be the starter, how would you rank it from one? One to three, and and I wouldn't even include Gunner in that mix because I, I think they're gonna they're yeah. gonna keep him out and bring him along. Who would you think are in order of the top three as far as the percentage of being the starter? I would honestly put Hendricks first because um, he has uh, a little more experience on the field, and then Golson, um, and then maybe Reese. I really don't know how to answer that at this point. I didn't mean to put you on the spot either. It was just <laughs> no, it's okay. And, it's okay. And, yeah. So everybody knows uh, Anna writes for our website, at, uh, the new dot com. She's done some great interviews. I mean, just phenomenal stuff. You can go there. Go to the TNNDN news page. 
scroll down the page, you're going to see five or six different stories that that you've written uh, interviews with Rick, uh, head women's uh, head women's uh, soccer coach Randy Waldrum, Melissa Henderson. It just, the list goes on as people see you've gotten the chance to talk to you. So go check out check that out, and we're looking forward to uh, getting some more stuff once we. We're going to revamp the website, and we're looking to, you know, get some some more great interviews uh, in print there. So, you know, appreciate that and keep up the good work. And we appreciate you coming on the show and giving us your insight into Dane Christ and and what the situation looks like at Kansas. Well, thank you. I look forward to, you know, everything that we've got coming up for us. So, yeah. We're excited, Anna. We think that you're going to be a huge part of what we're doing, and we're glad to have you on, and we look forward to having you on more times. And we got a big network going on. You're going to be part of what we're doing here. So, you know, enjoy awesome. the last couple months of high school. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean I've mean, i got two weeks, or, well, no, I've got five class periods left. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's fun by. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. You got to enjoy it, and we want to thank you so much for coming on, and if anybody represents the University of Notre Dame, then you are exactly that person. I appreciate it. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Santa. Have a great night. We'll look forward to talking to you soon. All right. Bye.